friends, it's Zoe, and welcome to today's bullet journal and video. Today I'm doing one of my favorite things, which is setting up my new bullet journal. If you're curious about any of the supplies that I use, be sure to check out the description, and let's get on with the setup. So the first page is just a regular index where I write the table of contents. I decided to split it up between like the general contents and the months of the year, so that it would give a little organization to the index. And for the next page, I have a 2022 at a glance spread. As I mentioned in my previous plan with me, this page is a little bit controversial because it is seemingly useless, but I really love just the way it looks and I think it just sets up the year nicely. But obviously all these spreads in this video are just suggestions and things that I'm doing, so pick and choose whatever you want to try and make your bullet journal your own. So for this next page, I am doing my yearly log, and I think it was a trend this year to make a mini book inside of the bullet journal with this little Dutch door cutout. So I usually run out of space when I write all of the 12 months of the year on two spreads. So this time I decided to use four pages and put three months on each page so that I would have lots of space for all of these birthdays, events, and holidays for the year. And these spreads may be looking a little bit empty at first, but I'm just trying to show you the bare bones of the spread and then later I'm going to add more decorations. So stay till the end if you want to see that. But I just want to show you that bullet journaling does not require a lot of artistic skills, it just is about productivity and making your life easier. This whole setup only took me about 3 hours to do. So onto the next page, I have a journal prompts list. This year I really want to get back into reflective journaling, so having these prompts handy will be very convenient. And on the right side I have my classic things I did spread where I write the date thing I did and place it into a category such as a first time doing something, an event, an achievement, anything of that sort I write on that page. And I got all those journaling prompts from Leah's field notes and the things I did spread idea from Oh No Nina. Every year I like to think of a word of the year. So for 2019 my word was grow, for 2020 it was inspire. And for 2021 it was create and my word for 2022 will be mindful so i just like to set the tone of the year with a word and then kind of expand on the word with the space below it and then i like to put my resolutions right next to my word of the year to see how my resolutions fit with my word that i want to keep in mind and i find it very helpful to break down your resolutions into categories so mine are personal health school and productivity but i've seen other people also put things like career mental health things like that and for my next page i have my january manifestations I like to start thinking in a healthy mindset and kind of encourage myself to start the year on a positive note. And then my end of the year reflection is kind of just what I'll fill in at the end of the year and see how I did on my resolutions. This next page is my movie log, and yes, if you remember, I did skip my usual book log. I have not finished a book since like 2019, so I just figured if I do end up reading something, I'll make the spread in the future. So for the movies page, I have a check mark, title, a rating, and date. So for the rating column, I made sure that it was five boxes wide for the five stars that I will rate it out of. And then the TV shows is basically the same thing except for the date, I have the dates where I started and finished the series since it is a longer time commitment. And then for the right side, I have like these blank pages where I'll just print out little screen captures of the TV show and write my thoughts about it. I think it's a really cute collage style and it became one of my favorite spreads of my journal this year. So if you guys are interested in a 2021 flip through, let me know. I'm still unsure if I'm going to film one, so let me know if you guys are interested and I'll think about it. But for the next page, I have a top 10 playlist. This was also one of my favorites of the year. So I just write down my 
top 10 songs from each month as the year goes on and I'll print out a little album cover of my number one song and put it in that space on the left of the box. I actually feel like these spreads for 2021 were more representative of my favorite songs than my actual Spotify wrapped. Speaking of which, I left a space on the right just to record the Spotify wrapped as well and to see like a comparison of what I thought were my top songs versus what Spotify thought were my top songs. These next spreads are for my YouTube tracking. So on the left side, I have all 12 months of the year and every month I'll write down the number of views, subs, and videos that I made as well as just like a general notes column. And then on the bottom, I also have notes that I'll write about potential collabs or milestones that I reached this year. And then on the right side, I have a videos to make chart where I write the progress video and a check mark where I'll write the date of when I posted it or when I finished the video. Even if you don't make videos, I feel like a spread of this nature would be good for tracking Instagram or just any general projects that you might have. All right, I don't know if this is just me, but whenever I am either watching a TV show or just talking with a friend and someone says something like very, very smart, and I'm like, damn, I should really remember that. That's what this next page is for. So this is where I write things that I'm like, I need to remember this for the future. The other day I was talking to my friend and she was saying like, Zoe, every day is a new start. And that just like blew my mind. I was like, you're so right. Every day is a new start. Like. Why am I starting this day already dreading it when it's just begun? So yeah, that's where I write moments like those. And then on the right side, I just have a pen pals page, which you can see I just have a name, address, the date I receive it, and the date that I reply. And now we're on to the last and final spread, which is the keep in touch spread. Here I write down the date, name of the person, and the method of communication that I kept in touch with them with. So I just have letters, phone call, and a FaceTime. And I have plenty of sets of these columns because I do use this page the most. Now here is the flip through of what I'm calling the bare bones of these spreads. So they're only partially filled out and I'll be showing you my decorated pages in the future. Um, but yeah, not to sound cheesy or anything, but you guys really changed my life with the last year's bullet journal setup so i just really want to thank you guys for making this far in this video and also probably watching the one from last year as well if you haven't seen it yet i'll link it in the description below it's pretty much i don't want to say the same but they are pretty similar these spreads i think i improved them to my liking and what i actually utilize throughout the year so make sure if you are continuing bullet journaling or starting bullet journaling, you really are critical of the spreads that you are making and making sure that they are benefiting you and not putting a burden on you, right? So here is another look with more cute touches. This year I really want to use stickers in my bullet journal because I am kind of hoarding them and I think I need to use them up. So you'll be seeing a lot more stickers in the future and I don't know why I'm like out of breath filming this voiceover, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that 2022 is a good year for you and that we can stay positive, stay strong and be kind to those who are around us as well as to ourselves. Please comment down below any of your favorite spreads from this video and if you do end up recreating any of these spreads, I would love to see them so you could either post it on Instagram and tag me or just DM it to me. I am sure that I'll see it. You can find my Instagram linked in my card in my description as well as some discount links as well. So if you use some codes, you can get some 10% discounts on some stationary stuffs so be sure to treat yourself for the new year. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but yes. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.